my gosh. Mate. Game over. This is bomb. <laughs>
I'm lucky I prepped these guys. Otherwise, you guys would have been watching. Otherwise, you guys would have been watching me chop and like. Can we get to the point? We're gonna add our strawberries into this one. We do a strawberry layer, and we'll do another strawberry one here. It's an awesome way of, um, you know, putting together something if you have bits and pieces of cake and strawberry and the fruits in the freezer in the fridge. You can just um, put them all together to form a trifle. Okay, we're going to add our berries into this one. That's the next layer. It's the fruit. And <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add the cherries now, and then we're going to um, put our compote. So you pronounce it compote, compotes, compote. I don't know how to pronounce it. It just doesn't sound right, does it? Compote. Compote. Okay, it's compote. The yeah, old compote. Compote. Okay, putting in our compote in there. All the layers are coming together, guys. Okay, now we're going to add our compote. Barker's New Zealand. This is a New Zealand brand, guys. Because I remember Barker's, they made the cordials and stuff. Yeah. Didn't they make like jams? And jams. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the compote. I got mixed berry compote. I was trying to look for the cherry one, but it didn't have any. So here we go. Oh. You only need a drizzle of it. It's like a jam sauce. Spatula! Okay, what we're gonna do is just spread that and fill the gaps. So you're forming... This is like your jelly layer in the normal trifle, eh? But this is like a fancy schmancy trifle. Oh my gosh, this looks good. So I guess it's like a, um, it's a softer version of a jam and it's not as sweet as jam, but it's sort of like a sauce, you can put it that way. And it, again, it's used to top desserts. That's the main purpose of compote. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're a professional like compote. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna let it taste. Ooh, it's not too sweet. Very fruit -y. <laughs> Guys, if you've watched me in my previous vlog, I was out of it and that's because I had four hours sleep that day. I was so tired we came back late from our Southside family's home. I was just out of it. This one looks good, the cherry one. Okay guys, so this is what they look like. Good eh? So this sort of like seals the layers down because the fruit is quite dense and then in the you, you got the, the compote which fills the gaps in between this fruit so it sort of keeps it level. If you want to go to the next step obviously you can add your jelly but I've just gone with compote and it's uh, not too sweet. That's how I like my dessert, it's not too sweet. Okay. So last we're going to add in our um, cream. With the cream you can do it thick because you got a lot of um, layers underneath it. Oh. There we go. And the next one. See how easy they are? So basically um, it's just creating layers of your favorite stuff that you like to have in a trifle really. And um, you'll find that the compote will go well with the chocolate layers underneath as well. Obviously you got the, the mousse, the chocolate mousse waiting for you as well. Okay, best to um, let it sit for about an hour. But I'm impatient, so I'm gonna try one for you guys right now. 
If you wanna add peanuts, it's up to you, okay? I'm gonna add some right now. This is our trifle, mini trifle dessert. I'm gonna add some berries on top. This is exciting. This looks like I'm catering, eh? It's like I'm taking you guys on a catering experience. Also a tip when you're doing um like decorations and such, it's always best to do things in an odd number. Okay, so you got threes, fives, one, golden ratio. Alright guys, so this is our mini trifle black forest desserts. Okay, so as you can see, I've tried my best to put it together. Um, any tips or suggestions, please comment down below. Obviously, I'm not layering it as much as a big trifle because to be honest, I went to Kmart today to look for a massive um, bowl, dessert trifle bowl for you guys. So I can show you guys the layers, but there weren't any, so I went with mini trifle instead. Just as good though, right? Um, I like to just say a big thanks to everyone who's continuously watching these vlogs. Hope you guys are enjoying them. You know, um, I, I do these vlogs now. I'm doing these vlogs because I enjoy, you know, putting together food and eating and you know talking about food on on this on this platform and also i love um you know just sharing with you guys my experience because i'm a foodie I'm a, i love eating food my family my cousins my aunts and uncles they know that i i love eating food and trying out different foods so comment down below what you guys think i should be cooking next i'm going to be doing a korean mukbang coming up soon so check that out um, so we'll show you guys where I get my Korean meat and all. Also, um, I'll probably be doing some more island cooking, but you know, I'm going to start mixing it up a bit. Oh, do you want to take a photo first? I'm taking a thumbnail, okay? I always seem to miss thumbnails every time we do vlogs. Keep going. Do another one. <laughs> Before I end this vlog, I'd like to shout out to all my um, TSFC and Tama Fai family out there. Um, and also shout out to all my family in New Zealand especially. It's sad because they've closed the borders still to New Zealand. So we can't fly over yet. Apparently it's till next year. But, you know, it's, it's hard because us Kiwis here or those who have families in New Zealand really want to go over. Also, a big shout out to my cousin Jasmine and Jeremy. Akira and Vincent in Mount Isa. Shout out to my family in Mount Isa and my cousin Imogen as well. Mm. 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 The compote looks like the cream, it covers the compote and the chocolate isn't too sweet. So like I said, the muffins or the cake layer absorbs all the the, the chocolate mousse as well as the, the jam or the compote. Oh my gosh, and it's not too sweet. It's a compote, break the cream mousse. Oh. I'm eating a cherry one and that's so soft, the pizza cherries, it literally just melts in your mouth and the the black mousse as well the chocolate mousse black mousse mm. Mm. oh my gosh mate game over this is bomb mini trifle dessert guys black forest style hope you guys enjoy this vlog i will try and put the complete recipe down in the um description below please um subscribe to this channel if you're new here i'll be doing more sit down cook along make along and sing along now <laughs> i do a lot of these sit downs now with you guys and also be still in the kitchen as well cooking up a storm but for now have a good week try out this recipe guys it's really good okay so this is all like a mukbang now we guys say okay for those of you who don't who knew what I did, 
my cooking back in Wellington. That's what started it off was I had a fundraiser and um, I made bunny popos, I made chocolate cakes, I made birthday cakes, I made muffins. The desserts was actually what it started off for me for my love for cooking. And um, also growing up, I did a lot of um, cooking for my family because I was the eldest of five. So whenever my parents were busy and stuff, I'd always make um, dinner for the rest of the family. It's easy meals like you know corned beef and veggies with rice, or spaghetti with pea soup and rice. Or you can have barbecue chicken with the leftover chicken. Um, you know, just real humble, simple foods. And then we also had shepherd's pie when we felt like it, spinach and potato pie. Those are some of the many favorites we had as a family. So. This is what started my journey as being a foodie. So they pretty much started from my upbringing. So I love food. Obviously, you can see, I, you know, I love my food. So we had um, a cousin's trip to America back in the day and um, honestly the food over there is bomb. Went to the steakhouse, I don't know if I told you guys this story already but um, my cousin took us to um, the steakhouse in um, this Philly steakhouse, oh, not Philly, but just the steakhouse in um, Santa San Diego. This place in San Diego. Barbecue ribs were so good. Yeah, those are memories I always have of the States and you know to be honest I want to go back. I really want to go back and finish my experience because I only did California. But I want to go back to New York, I want to do New Orleans, I want to do all the foodie places in America and then also do England do a UK tour of the, the pubs and the hearty food there in, in England so yeah hope you guys um enjoyed that little spiel of my experience with food and what started it off um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your week share your experience down in the comments below um and yeah we shall see you in the next vlog. And please, if you're in Brisbane, let me know what places I can go and eat at because I really want to vlog now. I've got my um, got more equipment with me now, so I'm gonna be um, going on on um, on the run with Ben, and we're gonna go and explore some places to vlog at. Have a good week, and we'll see you next in the next vlog. Bye.